Hey, what's up, everyone? Welcome to my channel, or welcome back. My name is Leslie, and I hope you're having an awesome day wherever you are. Uh, today, I wanted to give an update since my last becoming a professional video that I did a couple of months ago. In that video, I talked about goals that I wanted to hit at the time. Uh, this included coming up with a new art style, finding a therapist, improving vocal quality, and cutting my hair. So I'll go over that, um, mention what I've done to build my skills and establish my career, and then talk about new goals that I want to hit. Uh, in the background, I'll have one of the portraits I did in Swatches Academy's portrait character course, which I will go into later in the video. So without further ado, let's get into it. Okay, so did I meet my goals? More or less, yeah, I did, actually. I'm surprised, not uh, kinda. <laughs> um, the last part is from the creating an art style goal. Uh, I did get a full idea of what kind of style that I want to use, but I didn't figure out a style to go for with the hair. I did find a technique and a brush to use primarily, so I more or less accomplished this goal. We're going to go with that. I don't want to go into too much detail since I'll have videos going up over everything, but I will say um, I found that most people preferred my realistic paintings, so I'll continue with the more realistic and detailed style versus like a manga or like line heavy style. Aside from that, um, I started doing vocal and pronunciation exercises before I record, and I can actually say um, there's a difference, especially when I have to go back and then add something last minute and I noticed like the rasp that I have in my voice when I didn't warm up compared to like when I did warm up when I started recording. Anyway, yeah. <laughs> um, hopefully I can start getting more into like different inflections and, and stuff like that. And to wrap up my goals, I found a therapist. Yay. Um, I was going between going to a therapist or uh, going to a career coach, but I decided to talk to a therapist and I'm really glad that I did. Um, I wanted to eventually find a coach or I want to eventually find a coach or a mentor, but I think learning more about myself will be more beneficial um, before diving deeper into my career. So yeah, it's been really helpful so far. Now to the fun part, uh, what have I been doing to improve my art and become a full-time artist? Let's start with the character portrait illustration course that I took. Um, this course focused specifically on designing and capturing a certain likeness and personality of a character through various exercises, methods, and techniques. Um, I think the two most valuable things I learned uh, in, during the course were how to use references and a clear process from like extracting things from your imagination and turning it into a full piece. Many artists are told to use references, but what I love about Swatches Academy is they show you how to use those references. I think a lot of us overlook the importance of defined steps and reliable methods to get things done. I think a lot of teachers try to improve mainly like the techniques of their students, like how to shade and like what tools to use and stuff, but breaking down when to shade or when to add different details is just as important and I'm really starting to learn that now after taking classes from the academy. I'm like really excited about how far I've come with just painting portraits and uh, people. Uh, on the screen I'll have older portraits and then um, comparison to like what I've done recently and yeah it's it's really exciting um, the course especially like taught me how to observe facial features and like capture expressions and then apply those expressions to characters from my imagination it was definitely a challenging course but with practice and guidance I was able to see like a lot of improvement in my portrait illustrations and hopefully you can see that too um, I brought up this portrait before, but after taking the course, there's like even more that I want to improve on it. Um, particularly the skin tone and like the shape of the different facial features. Um, but yeah, I've been saying this a lot, but I'll go into greater detail in another video. And just as a side note, um, I can't stress enough how important it is to invest in yourself, especially when it comes to education. The character design course helped me develop my imagination and storytelling skills, while the portrait illustration course refined my technical abilities and method for creating character portraits. These courses provided me with structured learning, expert guidance, and helped me break through creative blocks and push past my comfort zone 
And I feel like that's something that you can't really get when you're trying to learn on your own or like watching YouTube videos. I think having somebody, it doesn't have to be like the academy, but even like having a friend or someone that you can trust to give you critiques. And then eventually, if you can find like an expert or like a professional to help you guide, I think that is invaluable. Okay, so now I want to circle back to therapy. Uh, I plan on going semi long term or at least until the end of the year. Uh, for obvious reasons, I don't want to go into great detail, but I do want to share what's been helpful in regards to improving my art and building a career. For the longest time, I think even going back to high school, I always felt like I would reach a point of really high productivity and then I would lose momentum and then hit a sort of like rock bottom. I can never really pinpoint the reason, but after going to therapy and actually watching YouTube videos, um, shout out to Healthy Gamer, but I'm learning about setting high expectations on ourselves and then expecting like too much too soon. I think this has been somewhat of a trend recently with like some videos I've noticed calling out hustle culture, etc. But um, I never really linked the connection with myself until recently. I know some of you might be tired of hearing these words, but I've, I've actually been constantly like shifting my goalpost and setting unrealistic expectations for myself um, before like settling into habits I was already like establishing or already working towards. The most helpful advice I heard was to set a goal for a habit and when you reach it, don't try to improve, but just keep doing the same habit and then go to the next stage when you're naturally ready or when you naturally can do better. I feel like some people can take it too far, but I'm actually really happy about like the movement with, um, I don't know, like just going to therapy and just being more mindful of like your mental state and everything. So yeah, really helpful. Piggybacking after that, another thing I've done is cut down on social media. Um, there are times where I was like working and I would open Facebook, Instagram, Discord, etc. and then check every 10 minutes or so for new notifications, like just hoping something would happen. Um, I also love playing Puzzle and Dragon, so games were another thing that I tried to cut up, cut back on. And yeah, sometimes I would just sit and play for like three hours at a time, which may not seem like a lot to some gamers, but um, my back and arms would actually start to hurt and get really tight and I would just keep playing. <laughs> and then like the next day I'd be like in a lot of pain and I'd have to do stretchers and it's, it's so annoying. So anyway, TLDR, I was on my phone too much. I feel like there's a lot of people out there who go through this where you just like need a break from phone or certain apps and I'm definitely one of those a lot of people. Um, I've done fast where I delete apps but this time I just decided to limit my time. Um, there's an app that I have that hides apps after a certain time limit um, and I find that having like a cold cutoff or like a time where I can't access those apps but then also having like certain intervals of access is a really good balance for me. And yeah, since limiting social media, I've been able to concentrate more, um, my self-worth isn't as tied to likes and I temporarily became addicted to Sudoku puzzles to fill the void but we don't have to talk about that, I got it under control. Okay, so what are my new goals and what do I have going on right now? Well, um, I signed up for my last Swatches Academy course and it starts in a couple of weeks and I'm actually really sad to say that because I really love taking these courses but they cost a lot of money so I can't keep taking them every term. Um, <laughs> so yeah, um, I signed up for the fantasy illustration course and I've been really building up to it. I actually wanted to take a break this time um, and take it during the fall. but. I have vacation in August, so I have a couple of weeks off of work that I can use to focus on my assignments, so I thought this would be a better time to take it. Um, I can't really remember the last time I tried to make a full, like, illustrated scene, so I'm kind of nervous, but the main thing that I want to learn is the process and just work on projects to get better after I take the course. I have a lot of ideas I want to start working on too, so I can't wait to share them with everyone after I finish. My other goal is to be consistent with social media. I know, I know, I said I need a break, but I feel like I can manage it with the time limit that I gave myself, which is about like two, two hours a day. Like I don't, I don't need more than two hours a day to be consistent. 
Um, I don't want to upload every day, but my goal is to not take a break for like two months. I don't even know the last time I posted before my latest post, so <laughs> yeah, I don't want those long breaks anymore. Um, I want to have something to post like every three days and a reel at least once a week. Anyone else like secretly hoped that reels would actually die? Like I didn't really want to start making videos, but I think that really is like the lane that things are going in now and I just have to suck it up and make videos and reels I didn't want to you know it's just like like Instagram one <laughs> they <laughs> they release reels and they just didn't let up and I'm just like oh god I feel like um some people are going more to TikTok now still but yeah um I'll be working on those like I said trying to do one once a week anyway um, I really want to document my progress during the fantasy course and kind of take everyone behind the scenes. I'm kind of inspired by Mithrilda and her documentative videos on when she was like doing um, a mentorship. Yeah, yeah, mentorship and taking classes with Evolve and also like Dropbox and just, you know, just like um, taking courses and giving her opinion and like her process her thoughts on it while she was taking the course um, I thought that was pretty cool so that's something that I want to do during the fantasy illustration course but yeah that takes me to the end of the video um, I hope you enjoyed it and found it somewhat entertaining <laughs> um, yeah I'm, I'm really excited about this year I feel like there's a lot happening and a lot of growth just like with myself and with my art so I can't wait to see what happens and I hope you stay along with the journey. Um, with that, I am going to sign off. Peace. Oh, and, and don't forget to like the video if you liked it and subscribe to stay up to date and all the other stuff that I'm supposed to say at the end of the video. Alright, bye. <laughs>